My name is Frank Bubben. I'm a project manager at the Department of Project Aerodynamics at the German Dutch Wind Tunnels, DNW, in the Netherlands. And at present, we are at the LLF, the large low speed facility in the Northeast Pole. My name is Paul Gaston, and I'm responsible for the KC390 program at Embraer in Brazil. The uh, KC390 is for sure the, uh, the biggest challenge we ever faced at Embraer. To face this challenge, uh, we have many mitigation strategies and of course wind tunnel testing is one of the most important parts of this strategy to mitigate the risks. Uh, that's the main reason uh, to, to have a number of different uh, wind tunnel campaigns in this program. My name is Marijn Versteeg. I'm a mechanical engineer at the Dutch National Aerospace Laboratory, as well as the lead designer for this project. Uh, together with a team of approximately 40 people, uh, we are responsible for the design and manufacturing of this wind tunnel model. Compared to the earlier KC390 model, this model has a completely redesigned and rebuilt fuselage. A remotely controlled air-to-air -air refueling hose is used to simulate air refueling during flight. The hose and drogue satisfied specific requirements uh, which were specified by uh, Embraer. And this was especially on weight and elasticity of the hose. And the hose and drogue were manufactured and designed by the NLR. When we talk about a big challenge, it's because this set of requirements ask us to, to develop an airplane to operate from uh, the Antarctic region to the Amazon, uh, from refueling helicopters to uh, cruising at high speed. Very different set of missions uh, requiring different configurations. We use a special technique, stereo pattern recognition. And by doing a calibration with these cameras before we start the measurements, we can measure exactly what's the position of each marker as a function of time. The KC390 is being developed by Embraer under a contract with the Brazilian Air Force so this, this very special campaign is being uh, 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 done here to address all mission aspects of the development and uh, to uh, update all the models we have been building for this airplane and to gain the maximum confidence we can before it start flying the real airplane after. Parachutes is used in real life for dropping loads from the aircraft in flight. Uh, so we did measurements uh, with the parachute behind uh, the model by mounting it to a parachute balance, a dedicated balance which could measure the forces which were uh, on the parachute. Thank <laughs> you. 
PIV is uh, Particle Image Velocimetry. PIV is a technique where we uh, apply seeding into the flow. This seeding is uh, shown in the flow by using a laser light. And two cameras are looking at the particles which are in the laser sheet uh, and record the position of these particles in the laser sheet by applying two images very close to each other. Uh, you can uh, determine the difference in spacing between the particles and the time between the two images makes it possible to calculate the velocity of the flow field. For the challenge that we have to face, we consider that uh, DNW would be the best solution uh, for the wind tunnel campaigns. So, uh, in addition to the many uh, objective and technical reasons we, we could name, uh, I have to say that we have one subjective issue that is very important, is that uh, DNW people is uh, uh, as excited as we are about uh, the job we do and this is very important for us to, to make things happen. Yeah.